Welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we will be discussing about what is the difference between industrial microbiology and biotechnology. Okay, so this is a video from industrial microbiology series. Okay, so let's start. So basically, both of these uh, subjects, they are considered as sub-disciplines of microbiology. Okay, that means they come under microbiology itself. So microbiology is a vast subject that covers many sub-disciplines. Okay, like immunology, virology, say bi biotechnology, agriculture microbiology, industrial microbiology, etc. So these are the two from microbiology itself. Now, what is the difference? So industrial microbiology, it encompasses practical uses of microbiology like often fermentation to produce economically important products like enzymes, vitamins, beer, wine, single cell proteins and antibiotics. Okay, so these are the products which micro, uh, many of the bacteria or microbes, they have the ability to produce by themselves. Okay, so we are the, just using their ability or their capacity. We are exploring them and uh, we are exploiting their ability okay to produce some of these economically important products okay like enzymes enzymes are produced by all of the microbes okay just the enzyme system may differ according to their um what we can say uh, their habitat or uh, what capacity they have like for example only the starch uh, hydrolyzing bacteria can produce amylase okay not all the bacteria will produce amylase so that's the difference so we use those particular microbes we have the capacity to uh, produce such enzymes and we use those in uh, those bacteria to produce large scale um, enzyme as the economically important product okay same goes for single cell proteins okay same goes for antibiotic okay or not all bacteria are able to produce antibiotics right so some of them which have the capacity to produce antibiotics we um, isolate them we study them for the mutations whether that is a pathogenic strain or not and then we use it for the large scale production of that particular antibiotic which is which it is able to produce now about biotechnology now what is the difference in biotechnology it uses mostly recombinant or genetically engineered cells that means something is altered in that particular microbe it is not a wild type okay and then that particular culture or that particular bacteria is used further for production of sophisticated products like monoclonal antibodies okay or uh, you can say like insulin that is also a product of biotechnology okay where uh, genetically modified um, or sorry uh, recombinant E. coli is used for insulin production. Okay, so that is the difference between the industrial microbiology and biotechnology. Now, industrial microbiology, if you have this for a uh, short note, then you can write these points. So, industrial microbiology uses microbes or microorganisms to synthesize products in large amount. And this is done by taking microbes that naturally produce some substances of relatively low value, for example, antibiotics or alcohols. And alcohol and then selecting for over producing strengths that means uh, from say you have six to seven isolates and from that the one which has the highest um, ability or the capacity to produce or you can say over producing strain is what you select okay and then that can be grown on a huge scale and the resulting product may be made by tons or thousands of liters that is large scale production in case of biotechnology it employs genetically engineered microbes to synthesize small amounts of very high value products that the microbes can otherwise unable to make such as human protein okay so that is the difference and some of the products or examples are like you can list some of these so in case of industrial microbiology you can produce antibiotics enzymes food additives alcohol so for antibiotics examples are penicillin tetracycline for enzymes laundry proteases lipases uh, glucose isomerase for food additives examples are vitamins amino acids citric acid so what are the food additives something that we add to get the um, extra quality or say to improve the nutrient uh, nutrient value of your food item so vitamins amino acids citric acid are what we add externally to our food 
so those are the food additives then comes alcohol and chemicals then ethanol in alcohol alcoholic beverages then gasohol butanol biodiesel steroids are the other examples so this is about industrial microbiology now examples about biotechnology so human hormones like insulin uh, somatotropin blood proteins like tissue plasminogen activator and immune modulators like interferons uh, tumor necrosis factor etc okay monoclonal antibodies is another one of the examples okay so this was a short video regarding the difference between industrial microbiology and biotechnology so i hope the concept is clear to you and do like my video do share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notification on each new video that i upload okay thank you